morning. Lime time. Later, I took off and see that kid that oh. parked around there. This I moved, I moved this back. I don't remember how far. One or farther or what? It was, up, it was on three before I marked their title. Marked okay, so we had it on three for punt or for Yeah. That looks like not quite three. It looks like. Well, it was a little, yeah, it was a little over three. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what it was at. I'll turn on one. I don't remember where it goes. We're getting ready to spread some lime. We gotta make some adjustments. Gotta hey, spread Stacey. some lime. Change some things uh, in the we'll monitor. Set this thing for yeah, lime. Set some things back there. Settings are and anything. Do you know what? Okay, we either have it or we don't, but I think we're ready to try it. Pretty sure we're good. I always get a little nervous when switching products and stuff. Uh, do all the calibrations you can, but the bad thing about a floater is not the uh, most scientific thing in the world. So I think we're good. We'll know when we run out, I guess. With a floater, the only way that thing, this monitor, knows what we're putting on is based on the measurements I put in there. It's not actually reading the amount of product coming out. It is just using ground speed, belt speed, spinner speed to determine what we're applying. And fertilizer and lime is all expensive, so I don't like to mess up. This field that we're going to, only half of it needs lime, which to me makes sense. The half of it that needs lime had pine trees in it for a very long time, so we harvested those. And pine tree needles, I can see where that would make this ground a little acidic. So we're going to neutralize that with some lime. So here you can see we're in the middle of the field. Over there were the pines. This has always been fields. And look, that's what we need to spread on. Just the part that had the pines. So that's what we're going to do. So this is our house site. I'm not going to spread anything here. We are still planning on building the house and we should be breaking ground in the next two to three months. So. I am not going to spread or waste any fertilizer over here. It's kind of pointless. So we'll just go around where we're going to be moving dirt. Yes, we are going to lose a little corner of the field, but uh, I mean, it's my field. I want to put a house there. Someone will put a house there. It'll be okay. I promise. I only say that because I know someone will someone will bring it up. So this field back here needs a lot of lime, and it did not take long to run out. So. This box, uh, we could get roughly 12, maybe 14 tons in it. We did not have it full, we just wanted to make sure everything was gonna work, but we probably still had, uh, well, we had about 10, 15 ton in it, I guess. And we did two and a half acres. We are putting on 6,000 pounds per acre, so I guess we had a little less than nine tons on there. Now, we do have a few fields that are needing a high rate. This is the highest, though, so I want to get it done first, and it's close to the line pile. And that's kind of how I'm going to prioritize which fields we hit first is top priority, and, you know, if it makes sense, if we're already there at a farm, uh, we'll just go ahead and spread it. But some of this stuff will get hauled. We just wanted to stockpile it in the hoop barn so we had it. Lime can get wet, but it spreads better when it's dry. So try to keep it a little dry if we can. We're going to hop in the big loader. Loads this just a little bit better. The lime's heavier than the fertilizer. So need a little bit more weight. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't reach as high as the telehandler. Big loads. Oh man, we had more space. Appreciate her filming, but she just got my truck pelted with with lime. So one thing about this high rate we're putting on, I cannot run fast. Eight miles an hour, because this is our web speed. That's the belt inside of the conveyor, or inside of the bin. If it goes above 50 RPMs, we start getting alarms going off, so we kind of have to run slow. Um, I don't know, it's a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. And we're empty, but hey, that time we spread five acres. 
So Mrs. Brown brought me lunch and now she's, you here to ride? Okay. You got pee? Yes. Oh. If you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. What am I shaking? <laughs> Here's Brad with our sixth load of corn today out of here. Doing all right, doing all right. They shut down taking beans because they're full and now they're just taking corn and it's actually moving a little better. Getting it loaded. If he's able to get back and get this one, this will be our seventh load of the day. It's pretty darn good out of this point. Oh God, I want to let that grow back. That looks terrible. What do you tell me? Okay, so we're going to the farm across the road. We have like a hundred tons of lime to put on over there So we're gonna be over for a little bit. I'm just gonna roll some uh, time-lapse footage uh, And we'll, we'll get to it. Hopefully we can knock all that out today. So there's our Oxbow salesman Stacy Garman he Came down to help us get this thing started up. So if you're in the, the Market for an Oxbow and you're in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan area give Stacy a call very knowledgeable man Especially when it comes to sprayers and spreaders Looks like this field we're putting on just a shade on over a ton an acre. Or no, yeah, just a shade over a ton an acre. It's kind of surprising to me because we've limed this field in the last five years. And usually lime will, you know, you don't have to do it that often. So kind of interesting. One more load and then I've got to take some kids to practice. The neighbor has an Oxbow sprayer and it had some factory updates just like ours and they just dropped it off here. A little bit easier to get to. But look at that truck though. Ain't that pretty? Per day as George would say. Per day. So Dad got there right before I was ready to leave so I just let him have the floater. He's going to finish spreading out that field and the 50 acres beside it hopefully. Try to get some of this lime spread, that way we can hold more in the barn. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you would and you're enjoying the content, please leave us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Also, if you're looking for some Brian's Farm videos or Brown Farms merchandise, check the link in the description to farmfocus.com. You have some new stuff coming. I don't know if it'll be out by the time this video goes live, but you know, drop down there, check it out. Or if you're looking for some Ariat boots, you know there's a 10% off coupon down there in the description. Also, if you still don't buy any chemical and you're a farmer, check out Ag Chem Solutions. Mention our name, you get a 5% off coupon for your first purchase. I mean, 5%, you purchase $100,000 worth of chemical, that's a big savings. So check it out, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.